some okay. point. You, you said that we don't have conversations between people who disagree anymore, but today I witnessed one of these conversations going down. So we're at the gym today with my girlfriend, and a gentleman comes in. We're in the back of the gym. We're just we're back there just sitting there resting. Actually, I, I'm not doing anything. And this guy comes in, and he starts talking about Ted Cruz to the guy at the who like owns the gym, runs the gym at the counter, and he starts talking all this Ted Cruz nonsense, how how Donald Trump is dividing the, the GOP party, how we need to get behind a real establishment candidate who stands for core values, how this is our guy. And, and the guy at the uh, gym is just not having He's like, you need to get the fuck up out of here, brother. You in Trump <laughs> country up in here. You need to get the fuck up out of here. And then some of the guys that are working out are like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. I mean, that's and, then my just... <laughs> and then my girlfriend, my girlfriend screams, Build the wall! <laughs> and, it, and everybody goes, Yeah! Build the wall! Build oh, the wall! And this man. guy literally like is shamed out of the gym. Wow. It was well, hilarious. That's not, that's not a conversation. That, that does not seem to be like a productive conversation. No. no. About, it was about politics. It was it's, highly it, productive. That, that seems to me a little bit like somebody who has, uh, who has objectified at all people who disagree with them, which is something that we've become really good at. Uh, we're seeing people who disagree with us as fucking idiots because we only hear we only hear the one source of information, and like that that terrifies me to think that there's like a gym in America I wouldn't be welcome in because I don't think that we should build a concrete wall that's not going to do anything to I'm stop told people. It's going to be a beautiful doesn't wall. Stop those people! You've <laughs> got to build that thing out of titanium at least. It's going to be a big, beautiful wall. You hey, keep hey, talking I, smack, Hank. Ten, Hank. Ten more feet. Ten more feet. <laughs> ten feet higher. Every time he says that, I just, I just, yeah. I, I just like. What's like? What's who's weird? Get more? Trump people saying like <laughs> the first comeback, the whole wall thing is always like, oh, the wall wouldn't even keep anybody out. It's like, well, if we build the wall that fucking Donald Trump seems to want to make, based on the comments he said, <laughs> people will not be crossing that wall. They, yeah. It will be a monolithic thing across the, the skyscape. It, it seems to work connection. in the Battle of Helm's you Deep. Gotta you gotta yeah. remember, this is, this is a hypothetical wall that will never and can never exist. It can and it will. It's, it's, it will send all of our felons to guard it. It is an idea wall. It's a wall built of ideas and the idea is that there are people who are out to get Americans. And it's a scary idea that has no basis in reality. I've seen them uh, on TV. It, it's, it's got wait, what do, you, what do you mean? Wait, wait, you can't make a statement that says, oh, there's this false reality where people are out to get America. What a crazy, what loony nonsense. Like, yeah, there are it's people not, out there who would like to Well, yeah, America. okay, there's, but they're not, well, they're not Mex. There's no, like, there's no, like, Al-Qaeda Mexico. Yeah, there's cartels. Uh, I'm they're sure they scarier. Have and and so, I, I, I don't, I, the, yeah, the cartels, they're interested in selling, in, in, the, in the free market of selling us heroin and pot. Like they, they also like to come across the border and kidnap people and hold them for ransom. They do that a lot. They do. They do that, they do that, no good, they do that good in Mexico. And I, th I think that, I think that it, they do that a lot is maybe a, a little bit of a scarier sentence than the reality. They do it more than is acceptable. How how many kidnapping <laughs> kidnappings would not be scary to you? A it few dozen. Really I'm scary. okay. Yeah, if we stop after a couple dozen, I'm good. Well, I mean, it really, like think about what think about the things that should be scary to us. You know, like what should we Our be scared kids. of? I know someone who, whose daughter bulls was outside their fences. They didn't bulls even negotiate. The first thing they did was sent they sent the guy's daughter back. They sent the guy his daughter's oh, pinky God. finger. First thing. And, that's, uh, fu that's fucking awful. And like these, like it's just it's. But think about like what are the people? Wh why do people want to limit assault weapons in America? Like, like c take c take this from your perspective because people fucking run into schools with assault rifles and shoot people. So what should we be doing in that situation? Should we be maybe limiting the number of assault rifles, or should we say this isn't actually a public health problem in America? It happens pretty rarely, and and like. In terms of gun violence, that's not the real problem. The real problem is people shooting each other because of like, like actual gun violence that actually kills people, which is mostly suicide. The reason like people die of gun gunshot wounds in America, mostly suicide. Yep. We don't talk about that. We talk about school shootings because that's the thing that gets people excited. So you're talking about the things that get people excited. We're not talking about real issues. Like, look at there's it. lots of yeah. reasons why the wall would be good. It would be, it would just be nice to have a defined. Oh God, are you cannot be serious? <laughs> <laughs> the wall would be good. <laughs> forget Trump. Forget Trump. Pretend like Trump's not even a thing. If, I'm not. If, I'm, any, I'm thinking about any, the wall. Any, I want a wall. I actually want a What's wall the down there. I, wall. There's I, people I was, who. Okay, they're coming I, to America to the take the jobs I, that Americans don't want. That's no. what they're taking. Those are the jobs they're taking. 
They're j- like, what do you see Mexican immigrants doing in America? They're, they're, they're harvesting crops. They're, they're working lawns. They're doing construction jobs. They're doing, doing jobs that here in Montana are done by Montanans. But if, they, but if somebody would do them for cheaper, they absolutely would be done by those people. Are they're you in more- favor of the free market? Like, this is what immigration does. This is how immigration works. And immigration has classically been very good for the American economy. Well, they're more I- than welcome to those jobs, but they have to come through the door in Trump's big fucking wall first. Right. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like Trump's interested in opening that door either, because this isn't about having a good immigration policy. It's about scaring people into voting for him. It's about so, saying there, there is this other thing out there that's that's it's terrible and scary and it's going to come take your job. It's going to destroy your way of life. You've got all this. Like, you, you have your identity built up in the way that you understand the world. Uh, like, like that the world should that that like That's all kind men. Of how should, every men, single candidate and, is, though, to an extent, is they all have their it, boogeyman that they sure. kind of, a lot of foist I've on never, you and say, I've "This is what you need to be afraid it. of." Oh, if you're Bernie Sanders, you better be afraid of those ten guys sure. in the back room. You know, that yeah. all of evil yeah. men. Bernie Sanders will thing. absolutely try and convince you that high frequency trading is ruining your life, Hank. Oh my gosh, those Wall Street guys and their high frequency trading—it's it. ruining like, America. And I'm like, I don't know. I make like four trades a year like i'm not sure this really impacts me that someone beats me to it by a penny like i I, I, yeah are you saying he's out of touch (laughs) or or, you know the 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 other thing about bernie sanders is hey i'm gonna buy you all the stuff you like you know what do you want low first time mortgage homeowner stuff you want some free college i got some free college here medical oh yeah all the medical you want If, if i am the candidate of free stuff and you just need a little spending money yeah, yeah, yeah. right all minimum salary minimum wage uh you know like and just uh, call me when you need some more you don't have a phone here's a phone all right, here you go. <laughs> and and it's just promises promises and you know <sighs> it's all just lollipops and gumdrops with bernie sanders and it's all going to come crumbling down so i'm eventually. old and i've been voting uh, the first guy i voted for was in 92 and uh who was it who was it ross pro Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that wasn't that wasn't really a vote. He got like twenty percent of the kidding. vote. I'm yeah, kidding. I don't know. He did that in in five seconds. If he had gotten twenty five percent, then his party would have been eligible for automatic funding in the next thing. So it was kind of a big deal. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, uh, anyway, I've never until this year really not had a candidate that I like at all. You know, it, I, I've always heard when people took the position of, you know what, they're all bad. I would think, no, no, no. You know, you kind of have to choose one, pick a side, pick a guy, back them. Even if you choose some minor league one, do a thing. But I've always had someone who was like 80% with me. This year, that doesn't feel true. Yeah, uh, Kasich, I, I, I feel like mm. um, he seems like a, um, a further, he, he seems closer to more of a... Um, a middle of the road Republican than any other guys out there, and he's also not despicable, uh, so which I like about him. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's one of the few left. So just a recap for anybody who cares: the important stuff that's happened this week is that Ben Carson has essentially uh, suspended his campaign. He said that there's no way uh, forward for him to go. He will not be at tonight, tonight's uh, debate at 9 p.m. in Detroit. Um, Should have been more high what, energy. Kasich absolutely should have been. He was the lowest energy of I've all the candidates. Never, I've never seen anyone with lower energy. Not, oh, not in the presidential can you campaign. Ima- can you- in the world. Ben Carson is mission accomplished, of- man. He sold his books. That's what the whole point of this thing was <laughs> from the start. So he's pulling out, throwing his support behind Trump. Um, you've you've nice. also got... Um, who, who else was it that just, that's re- recently pulled out? Um, What's his name? Um, You're not thinking of Jim. Jim Chris Christie. Chris Christie's really fiending well, for the VP spot, isn't he? Of course. I don't know if uh, maybe it hasn't. Uh, we haven't had a show since, but Chris Crispy, as they call him, the Krispy Kreme <laughs> man. I always see him like with a Krispy Kreme hat and stuff. There's so many great uh, cartoons and memes of, of Donald and, and Chris Crispy as like, like Chris is like this enormous, fat, bulbous, like war machine or, or yeah. something like that all the time. Um, What's he so, like in the comics? <laughs> <laughs> so he obviously he uh, endorses Trump completely uh, splitting himself from the uh, from from the GOP uh, vanguard you know the, the the old school guys like Romney and McCain that everybody think of when they think of the the big guys you in know, the Republican party conservatives people who yeah. represent the uh, the conservative ideology rather they, than whatever the fucks going on people who represent <laughs> losing because that's all those people have ever done they've They're never weak. 
They're losers. losers. Aren't all of them like, like currently elected? Didn't they all win their last election? <laughs> like Chris Christie sure is did. a governor right now. <laughs> we're talking about the presidency. That we're talking about the presidency, yeah, though. And, and, and of New got, Jersey. You've so. got you've got Romney and, and guys like McCain who who couldn't get it done. They couldn't get it done time and time again. And so you have Romney today chastising uh, 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 Trump in, in his speech, really blistering speech, lots of name calling. Didn't hold anything back. Really took the gloves off. He yeah. did fail to say which candidate he'd throw his weight behind, simply saying that it should be someone else, anyone else, it seemed. Uh, there, there are whispers behind the scenes that suggest that Rubio, or excuse me, that uh, Mitt Romney himself might try to jump into this if there's some sort of a contested convention. Um, oh, that so sounds that like so much fun. You know, like, this has been, for me, a pretty awful primary season, not going to lie. It's pretty stressful, don't like it, but gonna go down in the history of books that's for sure i, I really really hate the romney thing so uh really? it it appears that romney is vying for this like he wants to be the republican representative in spite of the fact that he didn't win and as much as i dislike trump and dislike hillary and dislike sanders god i really 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 hate the idea that we would no longer be a representative democracy so if they just grab some guy who wasn't voted and he becomes the Republican nominee, well, and I get hold one, that's one, not gonna. One, is one, he we, said that that's the thing that they're thinking about doing? I've been reading stories about that for weeks now. Like this that's is sort fair. of a, a public secret that but you've got in the GOP establishment. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to jump in, but 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 like I just want to like. So. In the GOP establishment, you have all of these billions of dollars of, of, of right. special interest money, big corporation money, all of the, the, all, the Koch brothers, all these motherfuckers who are just old as time and represent a, a, a gone by uh, way Can of- Can I ask you if you call them the Koch brothers because that's a fun, fun name you have for them or because- <laughs> I, I, I was call asking, them like, is okay, that how like, it's really sure. pronounced? Is it <laughs> Koch? What is it? No, let's just call them the Koch brothers. That's, <laughs> all right, that's <laughs> fine with me. How is, in what way is that not the better? thing to call them. <laughs> Why would you ever stop? No, I don't think that's the correct thing. To, no, they're the Koch brothers. People like that who are, who are trying to take a little, make our lives a little worse so that their lives are a lot better. People behind the, uh, behind the scene pulling the strings, behind the GOP, behind the GP, behind the entire Republican Party are losing their fucking minds right now. It's, it, it, this was never yeah, the plan. No, no. That is definitely true. Trump was their attack dog. When they needed somebody to go against Obama and say, you weren't born in this country. You're a Kenyan. Where's your birth certificate? Where are your college transcripts? And say the dirty things that Mitt Romney couldn't dirty lower himself to say. It was Trump that did it. He, and, and as Trump said today, Mitt Romney came to him and begged for his endorsement. He, Trump said, quote, he would have gotten on his knees if I wanted, if I told him to. <laughs> I loved when he said that because it's kind of a, you know, there's a, you could take yeah. that two ways. Maybe he'd suck, maybe he'd say, he'd <laughs> suck, he'd suck my dick for that. For that That's for that, absolutely what that Trump, Trump meant. Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With and, Trump, uh, he really might have. Ron Williams said it tonight on the air. He, he's, he's like, I, I think that's what he meant there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so, so when I see Mitt Romney coming out there and saying all that stuff about Trump's tax returns, what do you remember all the shit that Romney went that's through with true. his tax returns? And that do you know true. when he released his? It was in like September or something, months There's from a thing now. About, so I read an article about Trump and his tax returns. He's being audited right now. So this news organization who seemed pretty... Uh, uh, unbiased, nonpartisan to me, talked to like 10 different tax attorneys and said, would you advise your client if they're in Trump's position to release their tax returns in the middle of an audit? And nine out of 10 were like, no, that's a bad idea. Wait till the audit's concluded and then release the returns. Yeah. When, yeah, when no, that it's a bad idea, came up, but, but like at the same time, like you're running for president, you're going to have to do some he, bad ideas he did a he pretty uncomfortable thing though though he released to be, his not, to be fair assets. donald trump doesn't need to do anything because people who like donald trump fucking love donald trump 